I met the people then, sister. Fix up the little pillow then. <laughs> oh, yeah, comfortable, you know. All right. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Naturally Tones. Guys, we are in 2024 and we are also in a brand new space. Want to see how comfortable? At the same couch now, but there's something just different. It's when you have your own house, it just feels different. You get me? So I know you guys have been watching, you know, a few of my clips, a few of my shorts, you know, where I'm showing you a little bit of the renovation tour and I'm also telling you about the journey. And now I'm gonna get into a topic that I haven't seen people talking about, but you know, what are the pros and the cons when you actually move into a new development? Now, given that my development is gore, my issues are really gonna be what I've experienced here, but feel free to let me know if these are the same issues that you have or that you had when you moved into your new development. And let me know if it's still worth it, you know? Um, when I say worth it, I mean instead of going into an existing development without these issues or a brand new one where the community is, you know, getting off to a fresh start, you know, which one you would prefer. So if you want to know more about that journey, those pros and cons, stay tuned. First con is dust. Dust and noise pollution because what you're going to find is that moving into a new development, things are still happening. They're building out phase two, three, four, five, which, whichever phase it is. So it's gonna get a little noisy every now and again. If you're someone who probably works from home, you know, it can be a little annoying. What I would say is that based on, you know, the schedule when you get your home, the noise can be greater or less. And it also depends on how close you are to the other phases that are being built out. Separate and apart from the development actually building other phases, your neighbors, right? So they're also trying to make their space, you know, unique. So you're going to have noise pollution from them as well. You know, you're going to see the walk, man, them a walk up and down another place. And, you know, that can take away from the peace. That can take away from the peace. But I, I, I tell you, you can bear with it. But as I know, if, if you were from home, it may be a little bit more annoying than others. Another con is bugs, and I'm gonna get very specific. I'm not talking about rats and them. Something. Well, a rat isn't isn't a bug, but I'm just gonna say because in a Kingston, I'm traumatized by the rat level. But but at this in this side, at Gore Development right here, so cricket, cricket, you have cricket for kill. Like I feel like I've probably killed around ten cricket in a week you know and and i mean they're they're relatively harmless but they make a bag of noise so like it, it can be really annoying you know you have to keep your doors closed or you know make sure your mesh is intact because these crickets you know that they, they even come in under the door you know when they're babies and then they will live in your closet and then two tools you just hear they're the bag of knives in their ear so yeah the bugs the bugs you know my neighbor did did tell me one spray when we can't use it they put my to-do list and if you don't have any suggestions, please, please drop them down. But the, the cricket them, the grasshopper them, I'm not really frightened for grasshopper still. At least they stay outside. But the crickets, for some reason, them just love coming out of the house them. And that is a no-no for me. Another con is the distance. And when I say distance, I don't mean like from Portmore to Kingston, but just the distance in terms of it being like a new development and delivery companies not really knowing how to navigate it to so like for example me they want out of some kfc if you want to fit me they have true and then i'm gonna tell me so them can go phoenix park village one but then can't go two because i'm not too sure where it's there and i'm just like these are the things and it's also like not available yet on google maps so like i've been doing my google maps part by trying to you know show show google the right thing you know i try to show them the right thing but in the meantime, it's, it's going to seem like it's on nowhere's land. You know, no, no man's land. That's the term. No man's land. So, so that's, that can be a little annoying, especially if you're a person that's used to deliveries. You know, if you're a person who likes to have your, your health, helper, housekeeper, babysitter, stuff like that. Them getting here, knowing, getting familiar with this area, especially for public transport, is a little difficult. Because on this trip, only taxis run here. And them not like give turn off. So... It can get challenging, but once you get used to it, I mean, I guess it's not a big deal. But basically, if you're not driving, no come run here. If you don't have a vehicle or access to a car or a man or a girl with a car, just just low it out. Low it out. It's not for you, sis. It's not for you. 
Another con is inconsistent garbage collection. Now, I don't get no big truck I come through. I collect garbage, you know, me in a phase one. So it's really like a tractor, a tractor situation. And you just throw the garbage in the van back and that's kind of what it is. And at first when I came here, they were like, oh yeah, man, every Saturday. But then Saturday sometimes is Tuesday. Sometimes it's not every week. Sometimes it's every other week. So that can get really annoying really quick. And then to couple it with another con, because the construction is still happening, it's a gated community, yes, but it's not fully cornered off. So what you'll notice is that um, stray dogs will, will find their way through the little fence and them just want to see a garbage out and stunting, right? So if you've never done build your metal cage or you're like me who have a drum for your garbage bin, yeah, your garbage are going to spread out all across the road and the garbage truck not coming till whenever it feel like. So that's also a, a major con for me. Now, for those who moved in earlier, I mean, I'm sure they have had way more problems than I did. But one big one that I noticed was um, the roadways. So because the development wasn't finished as yet, those who probably moved in between block, you know, A to probably E, they were driving on, you know, so so mile for a while. And when the asphalt came, why would break for feet? The oil, the oil on the road, the disgusting. And the way it was done, the, I can tell you, a few of my neighbors, them, them care. Mm -mm. Them, I forget the cursing and for wash off the oil and the asphalt that itch up under them tires. And I gotta imagine, you have your sweet white BMW 3 Series and the oil, the oil from the asphalt up on it. Like, it's, it was a mess. It was a mess, so... You know, that scheduling is really important. I mean, I know you want to be like first in line, especially when it comes to like um, community positions like president and stuff like that. Those are usually from like the first movers. But guys, some of these little, little fixes, mm, I kind of never really mind somebody coming upon a lot of part because some of the things would have been fixed already. Another con is depending on where you are in the schedule, you'll find that um, persons who moved in before you um they had housing issues so like i've heard neighbors say you know the roof was leaking you know they had structural issues you know a person was telling me that um the window it didn't keep out the water when rain fell another person the top cell washed away when rain leaked. like a bag of bag of story and what you'll find is that the houses going forward the ones that have not been moved into um they are now mindful of those concerns so they will fix them as they go. So when you finally get your house now, you don't have as many issues as those from the first lot. So so scheduling can be really important um, in that pick. And that's just an issue that comes with any new development. Another thing to note with a new development is that the signal is touch and go. Like when we just got here before we, you know, we did our renovation, like you could not get signal inside the house. But what I found is as soon as I connected my Digicel um, internet and more persons moved in, the signal, you know, strength improved significantly. So, but I still hear my neighbors complaining about flow, but that's why I'm not try with flow, go, go slow. Digicel my thing there when it comes to my house most internet because i don't have time for, for the trauma right more know when i call i can get through when i connect me can connect yeah that's it that's the aim another con is that many persons use these homes as rentals or airbnb and what you know personally i mean i, I understand you want to make some extra money you know in a lot of situations you buy a house as an investment and, and and you know i support that young people trying to make some more money nothing wrong with that but for the persons that do live in these communities, what you find is any anybody I walk through the community. So that, you know, reduces the level of safety. And also um, what you find is a person who rents is not going to take the care um, most times as much as a home, homeowner. So, you know, that can also, you know, deter from the look and feel of the community um, in terms of upkeep and maintenance. Um, so that's another thing. Another thing to Airbnb people, you know, them they're on vacation. So they're a little louder, you know, they're probably having parties, having events. So that can also make it uncomfortable or annoying for those who actually live in the area. I mean, you don't want to come home on a Wednesday evening at, you know, six, six o'clock, seven thirty, and your ear spice bumper jumping 
next door because the person come from Canada and they might live their best adult life. Like that's not really what you signed up for. You wanted a peaceful community. So that is definitely a con. And I'm sure it doesn't only exist in new developments, but I know it's more common because the idea is that you buy the house brand new and that way you don't have to do as much fix up and then you can rent it right away to make back that money that you invested. Another con is the street lights. No, I don't know why, you know, I don't know if it's a gore thing or, you know, if other developments that people in Chemtech and we can you guys can let me know, but like we never have street lights when you just move. Um, thankfully again, based on where I was in the schedule, you know, the street lights came around like the following week, you know, but there were no street lights. Um, you know, even the security posts, the man I use floodlight, like we never like that. And then even driving into the community. So there's like a long stretch of road and there were no street lights. So like, yeah, everybody had turned on them bright lights and you know, that can be hazardous. And as I said to you, we're out into the countryside and a bag of bag of animal and stray dog. So next thing you know, one day you're going to run past, I'm going to have to swerve. So yeah, the street lights, them take too long to install and put up. And even now, like we've we've been here a month, but people have been moving in from last year somewhere, and we're still not done put up all the street like them. So that's definitely a con. But what you find is persons who move in probably like phase two, phase three. At least the main road by then will have street lights. But if you were to move in earlier, like we did, then you're gonna have those type of issues in terms of electricity and connection. And last but not least. All of these new developments are coming with rules about how you can expand or you can paint house. And personally, I'm gonna really like that. I mean, I know the thought process is oh, it maintains a unique look, and and you know, I'm for it. But like, for example, Portmore Art, everybody know Portmore Art, and you don't want a little driveway put up on the front. I'm gonna make a note say no structure can go up on the front, you can build up your driveway and so, but you can't put like you know, like a garage at the front. Or let's say you did want um one more say no. It's just it's just those other things they might want with the front of your house. Like many reason I'm gonna put one gazebo out there, you know, because it's not attached to the house, so we can't get away with that. But like then basically say you can't put nothing with a roof roof on the front of the place. Them not them not them not depend on that one there. Like you don't even want probably expand your patio, you know? So it can be like a fully covered patio and so. You don't want a little, little, little space. You want a little extra. Nah, you can't do it. So, so a lot of developments are having those type of rules. Um, yeah, me not like it. And me also never like say them do the house and you can't go upstairs. Like, fine, you don't never give me a bag of land, but sir, you know, business me can't go upstairs so that way me can make my mansion. And so if me feel like make my mansion, and so me no, never like that. Me never like that. But it's because as I've mentioned in previous videos, the housing market is the ghetto. And the price of me get my house for nobody else may not, may not see that at road. So I'm grateful. I'm grateful. But I do think that they could have, you know, build a house in a way where you could have go upstairs if you didn't want to go upstairs and kind of allow you to do certain things to the front, like building a little shed or a garage for your car. I mean, I think that would have been too difficult. That's just me. And just pointing out, it's actually been one year since I've started making these videos. And I just wanna thank you guys so much for subscribing, for tuning in, for commenting, liking, sharing. I, I couldn't be this far without you. We're just the 300 hour mash, but in the mean set, 2024 won't be the year that we get to the thousand. So big up on yourself and let's cut the chattings and run up another video. <laughs> okay, now that we've exhausted all the cons, what for going to the pro? What for going to the pro? Because it's not all bad. It's not all bad. It's definitely not all bad, right? So one of the major, 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 major pros is that it is a gated community. And my security guards take things very seriously. You know how much time me, me who own my house, I for show them my ID, because them, them, them know who I am. Who I am. They're not going to take my word feet, right? So they're very, very serious about, um, you know, letting in persons, especially persons who are not on the list. Um, if your ID do check out, sir, you're going to turn around and leave. We don't want your air. So I, I really like that. You know, it, it puts in place some level of order, you know, especially as I mentioned, having all these workmen coming into your place. You have to let the securities know, hey, this is the workman that's coming to do X and Y. Move on. Right. So I appreciate that. What I also love about a new development is that everybody is new. So what you find is people are a little bit more, you know, mindful of each other. 
I find, you know, the hellos, they come very frequently, you know, the support, hey, you know, congrats on your home, you know, everybody is genuinely excited to be here, even those that rent, you know, they're, they're excited to be here in a brand new space, and I think people really want to put their best foot forward, you know, and, and, and I like that. Um, I love the community groups as well um, to keep us up to date and abreast with the issues and even sharing of contacts. What you find is because everybody is trying to do similar stuff, you know, we're, we're trying to build a driveway, we're trying to landscape, we're trying to get some work on in to get some maintenance work done. And it's easy to just ask in that group, hey, anybody have a mesh man? Anybody have a grill man? You know, I, I like that sense of community that, that starts out initially. And even though people will find maintenance fee annoying, I actually don't don't mind the concept of it because it ensures that the grounds, you know, they stay together. You know, if you were going into a scheme that was already built up, you just kind of have to take what you get our way upon government to figure it out. But the community takes up that responsibility to say, hey, we want our community to stay a particular way and we're going to work together to make that happen. So I, I love that about new developments for sure. Another pro is that even though, you know, it's, it's a place that people aren't familiar with, it quite quite bored yeah you have kids and so but it but it's quiet for the most part and it's very cool like portmore is a, a very very odd place and living out here it doesn't feel the same um i do think the high ceilings contribute to that for sure um and i know once persons you know really start landscaping and you know their trees and stuff go up it's gonna feel even better so so minimine minimine I, I like the weather and it rains a lot surprisingly like and Portmore is a place where rain often, but yeah, so rain, regular night rain. So I ain't mad. I ain't mad. <laughs> Another positive, which persons, I guess, who live down this side will realize is that it's a little easy to get in and out of Portmore, um, more along the lines of like a Ochi and Spanish Town and that side of things. Um, Kingston is still, a, you know, a stone throw away. But, um, I mean, Portmore they done far from morning, right? So, versus when I used to live with my parents, um, which is closer to the toll side of Portmore, you know, it would probably take me 15 minutes to get to Kingston. Um, when I say Kingston, I'm talking New Kingston without traffic. No, it's going to probably take me about 20 minutes, probably 25 minutes. So, I still think it's pretty convenient. Um, what I like is that Portmore is developing. So, I really have no need to go to Kingston. Like, unless this store in a Kingston and Kingston alone... That's the only reason why I have to go, or for work purposes. But otherwise, everything there, I'm, I'm moving there. I'm, I'm a gelato, I'm ice cream, I have everything, everything. I'm a breakfast, everything. Beach, round the bend, yeah. Kingston never have no beach, so there you go. We're already at progress. <laughs> and the best pro of it all is fear us. It's fear us. Nobody now raise no, no mortgage upon you unless the government or the bank lick them head. But anyways. Now, buy and I raise it upon you. You pay your money. You're comfortable. If you lose your car tomorrow, you have your house. You lose your work tomorrow, you have your house. And you're comfortable, right? So, so that's definitely one of the major, 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 major pros for me. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching another episode of Naturally Tones, guys. And of course, if you have any other questions, possibly if you want to have get more information on anything, um, yeah, just leave it in the comments below. Remember to like, comment, share. And again, I appreciate you guys so much for sticking by me. One year down, few more to go. No, I have not done the home tour as yet, the full, because guys, we're still a, a fix up. We're still a nice at the place. So it's it gonna take a little time. So one day, one day. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Bye. <music>